flaming chariot of his fiery heart. Thundering drums of another day's arched across the sky.
deep in the ocean's flow. Endless quantum of energy, extinguished, now everlasting, pulsating, and crazy.
that was tremendous, Celia, tremendous. And the music that you heard was the very music that inspired him to write the poem by Ray Hargrove from his album, Havana. Yes, thank you, Nina, for this opportunity. It's been a real pleasure. So this poem was many years in the making. It was many years. It uh, basically started in 1989, and then pieces were added and reworked and and added and reworked, and, and hopefully I think I got it all. <laughs> it certainly sounded it. Can you tell us some of the backstory? Because you were weaving in Troy and ancient Greece and these uh, ancient Greek figures. Yeah, I, 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 I see a lot of I see a lot of um, a lot of uh, analogies between the uh, ilium and this impregnable wall, the Malecon along the, the Cuban Boulevard, uh, and also in terms of islands. You know, there's the island of Sicily, the island of Cuba, and the island of Earth as part of the universe. And and to me, we're very much islanders in a, in a sense. Uh, maybe maybe a more metaphysical sense, but. But How do you see the Earth as an island? As an island of the universe, as an island of, and yet it's all part of the whole as well. You know, it's, it's um, I, I also see like a, 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 a correspondence between the inner world and the world outside as well. And sometimes it contrasts, and sometimes it's in sync with the with the world outside. And why did you feel your own story was so like this story about Troy? Well. My personal story is that my father did leave my mother, and very much like uh, Odysseus left Penelope, unlike uh, unlike the case of Odysseus, my father did not return. Of course, in the case of Odysseus, he does return, but but Telemachus makes his own way. He has to uh, make his own way without his father, 